Okay, we finally solved the mystery and we hear 3 plus 5 equals, see that? 9. Marquez Pixel Beta, you guessed it, it's out, let's go. What's up guys, welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. So in actually almost less than six days, Mac OS Big Sur went from beta eight to beta nine, which we now have today, which is September the 29th. And I've updated my MacBook Pro here. And let's look at the changes that came with this update. Now, the same issue still pertains to this update, just like the previous one. When you check for the system update, it still takes about 45 seconds checking for the update. I don't know why, apparently, on beta 8 it was like that and on beta 9 still like that now this update comparing it to the beta 8 the previous version it has increased by a gig because beta 8 came in at around 2.3 gig however beta 9 for me on my 2016 15 inch mbp it comes in at around 3.5 gig increase it seems like it's been promoted right if we go into the about this mark section and go to the storage and click manage it just takes a moment to load because we want to see how much storage this system is taking up you can see that you know it's been increased also beta 8 was taken up 16.11 gig although it ended up at over 21 gigs and so as you can see here macOS pixel beta 9 for me at the moment is 16.17 gig keep in mind that this is going to increase over time this is something that i saw with beta 8 so it could increase all the way to also like 21.5 gig so just keep an eye on it over the course of time as you update if we go back a little bit just to see the about this mark section to see the build number that came with this update you can see that we now have a build number that has a c the previous version had an i so we jumped from an i all the way to a c which, you know, it tells us that we are getting closer and closer to the final release version of Mac OS Pixel. I can't wait to see the GM, what most of the official release version of Mac OS Pixel, because so many people keep asking, when is it going to be released? I'm going to be talking about a possible release date at the end of this video. Now let's talk about new features, changes and bugs addressed with this version from the previous version, which is beta 8 that I'm coming from with this update. The first thing that I have to mention is that this macOS Pixel Beta 9 gets a ton of new emojis that were apparently also released on iOS 14.2 Beta 2. So if you use messages or you are that type of person that always puts an emoji in every text, then check the emojis as there's a new type of emojis that came with this macOS Pixel Beta 9 update. Also, the QuickTime player icon has been touched up. If you look at it, you'll notice that it has a darker outer ring and then the circle and the icon itself have been made like a lighter blue color and the center of the circle is blue which is different from what we had before i think this is the icon that we had before on beta 8 and on public beta 4 so QuickTime has been updated slightly. The setup assistant bug where you could not hit continue on setup has also been addressed. So yay, if you could not hit continue now, you can progress to the next step. If you're setting up your Mac. Also on macOS Pixel 11 Beta 9, screen recording access control for standard users with MDM support is now available and that's a good thing because on previous version was like this. If you're a developer and use Xcode, Xcode command line tools are now available with 12.2 beta 2. Also with beta 9, just like previous versions of macOS, if you look at the digital calamita that we have here, it's been touched up slightly. I think the orange color of it looks a bit more rich compared to the previous version that we have. But you know, you can always compare it with the update that you have because people are seeing different things, right? If you look at the app store icon, look at it closely, you will see that, you know, it's obviously blue like this but the blue color of it has been reduced in terms of shadows so it looks more darker you know and i i think i like the way it looks compared to what we had before the dark knob bug which was there on the previous version has now been fixed i don't know if Previously, it was a new feature or a bug, but if you didn't like it, then in this update, we now have lighter knobs when adjusting different parameters. So 
Also, this update breaks the sidebar transparency for Mac Catalyst apps. And also, the toolbar has changed too. Now, some people are finding this to be a good thing. Others are like, ah, whatever. So, make sure you check this out before you update if you are going to be using Mac Catalyst apps. If you are like me and are a big fan of 4K video on Safari, I'm on MacOS Pixel Beta 9. And for me, on my 2016 15-inch MBP, there's no 4K video in Safari. I checked this out and you know, if you have the same Mac as me, don't expect 4K Safari. I think for newer models, they have 4K Safari. So perhaps Apple is telling me to up my game up a little bit, but anyways, no 4K Safari on Beta 9. Now, when it comes to the official release version of Mac OS Pixel, we know that Catalina was released, you know, or the official version of Catalina was released sometime in October. I believe it's the 7th of October last year. So when it comes to Mac OS Pixel, the official version, we can sort of, you know, look between the first and second week of October. Now, there's currently an Apple event that is scheduled to, well, not scheduled yet. I believe most sources at this time seem to suggest that, you know, carriers or mobile providers are saying that you know the event is going to take place on the 13th of october so if the iphone 12 event takes place on the 13th of october then perhaps the new softwares will be released on the 14th of october and then again this hasn't yet been confirmed by apple we're just trying to like see what the previous trend from apple has been although this year obviously we can expect some delays because you know delay in production and also delay in the releasing of the os so look around you know on the 14th of october however there's also like uh, some sources at this time that are saying that there's going to be like an apple event in november for the Apple Silicon Macs, which are going to be both the 13 inch and the 16 inch MacBooks. So also it could be delayed as far off as November. So, you know, we just have to wait and see, but I doubt that they will hold it all the way back to November. An October release is more highly likely, according to me, at least at this time. Anyways, that's about it for me. When it comes to battery performance, let me just show you what I had on Mac OS Pixel Beta 8. As you can see, if we go to the battery section for me, this is how my battery was basically performing. I sort of, you know, didn't see an improvement or a decrease. It was more or less the same. However, I noticed that if I use third party apps when it comes to Mac OS Pixel Beta 8, then my battery was like draining faster than before. So hopefully with time when I test this Beta 9 out, they would have addressed that. And also performance wise so far, it's okay. My app applications are opening as they are supposed to and let me just actually test you know third party applications cause they were actually crashing before so let me see I tested third party apps I tested YTD I also tested various Microsoft apps and on macOS Pixel Beta 9 they are working if previously Microsoft apps were not working for you there was actually an issue when it comes to like teams and word and so on and that wasn't actually a mac issue it had you know partly to do with the mac but also microsoft has its own issues on its end so i think now those issues have been fixed when it comes to microsoft apps so basically that's about it for me when it comes to mac os pixel beta 9 this is you know just a small update video i think i'll do a follow-up in about two to three days so watch out for that in that video i'll let you know whether it's good to update or not and that's about it for me if you like this video drop a like and hit subscribe and stay safe and i will definitely see you very soon in the next video peace